Hi everyone, how are you guys doing? I love hearing from all of you. It's nice to see your comments and see that my videos are resonating with people. It's definitely very motivating. Um, I'm going to see if there's any updates. I know I, about a week ago I posted um, about the your, your masculine and the karmic for those of you that are in third party situations. You know, I got that there was fights, maybe lies, betrayal, just something chaotic. I think the pink moon just brought in something like some type of chaos. Um, you know, truth was revealed and the masculine basically just can't go back to how it used to be with the karmic at this point. You know, he might hold on for a little bit and it might be a chaotic, unstable relationship, but things aren't going to go back to how they were before. Whatever it is that just happened between them for this group that I'm channeling, um, whatever just happened, it's like they can't, it, it's, it's, everything's different now. It really is. He can't really completely forgive her for whatever she just said or did. Um, he can't really move on from it. And he might, I mean, he might try to hold on a little bit. I think it, it's a very, very toxic codependent relationship right now. Like if they were toxic before, if they were arguing before, they're arguing more than ever right now. Um, and it's just, it's crazy. It's, it's, if one of them is physically abusive, one of them or both of them are physically abusive, I could I could see some get, getting to a point of actual physical fights. Like they're they're being nasty to each other right now, is is what I've been getting from them. Um, and then for some of you, I think the masculine is just completely done. Like I think that he's just moved on and he's isolating, and he's kind of just in this. Um, I don't know if I would say like a rebound phase, but he's just kind of like depressed and isolating and trying to get himself stable again. Um, and then for, for some of you, you know, he is still kind of in that situation, but it's, again, it's just chaos right now between them. It's, um, he's not happy. Whatever, whatever route he's taken right now, he's, he's not happy. It, it is over with them. It's just a really messy, chaotic process right now. So, and if your masculine has been kind of snappy lately, that's why it's that going on. There's just, there's a lot going on behind the scenes right now. Um, so I've waited to do a video because I didn't sense that there was any anything recently, like any like major shift. I, I still sense that same chaotic energy. But the past few days, I've been hearing that there was some type of shift. Something new has come in. There's some, some type of update. I think it's still very similar energy to the video we got before, but there is, there is something new that's happened. I don't know, maybe some of you text them or reached out to them, or maybe they like sent them some healing energy or something of that sort, because I just sense... I sense some nostalgia and pain regarding you, regarding your connection. I sense some thinking about that connection. So, so yeah, there's some type of update. Um, let's see what the cards have to say about it. This this pink moon has been crazy. It's really good. Like I felt, I made some moon water, and I feel really good about um, that energy that came in. But it's it's been a really intense purging process that I did not expect. I felt sick. Um, most of this week, actually, I pretty much just been in bed purging. Um, it's been really intense. So I'm hoping that energy, I think it's going to start clearing up next week. I'm hoping. Um, but yeah, I haven't, I'm pretty much just been resting and just trying to get my energy back up. <laughs> I think we're getting rid of collectively. We're all getting rid of all the physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually. We're, we're getting rid of all the garbage that was holding us back. So it's, it's, it's a good process. Um, you know, you're mirroring your masculines too, and your masculines are going through the same thing, going, getting rid of the things that are holding them back. Um, it's just a messy process. That's all. All right. Can you show me what is the update? So for those in a third party situation, what is the update here? What's the update? What's going on? Um, so for those, for this group, what does, what does the masculine feel? What does he want his feminine to know right now? What does he want, what do, what do we need to know about what's going on with, with that whole situation? Is he coming towards um, his soulmate, his twin flame right now? Is he, is he getting away from the karmic finally? Okay. See what we got. Six, uh, eight of wands. Ace of cups. Five of pentacles. Knight of swords. Are those? I think I need to 
put these upright is what I'm feeling because I need to keep forgetting to reorganize my cards. <laughs> So this energy is good. I think he's really starting to think about you more. And he's it, it is still back and forth energy. I'm not going to lie. It's not completely where we want it to be yet. But um, but I will say I feel a lot of nostalgia from him. I do feel like he's thinking about you more. I think he's also really comparing what he had with you or what if you guys nev maybe never dated, um, for those of you that didn't date, those of you that just had that connection, I think he's kind of fantasizing about what that would have been like. He's fantasizing about little things you said or did or, or things about your personality that he really likes. Um, he's kind of, I mean, he's really falling out of love with the karmic. Like he's not, I don't see, I don't see him being in love with her right now. I really don't. I mean, I don't think he was ever deeply in love with her. I think to start with, it was just very familiar with her and very comfortable. And it was a kind of relationship that just did not challenge him to grow and be a better man. And so he went with it. Um, whereas you, you pushed him, you challenged him to be a better person. You challenged him to match you. You, you had this spicy, fiery energy but a very loving, empathetic energy at the same time. But you just, you challenged him to be more. Like you wanted more from life. You wanted more from him. Um, you know, you you wanted to help him um, grow is what I feel. And, and yeah, that was, I mean, he wanted it deep down, but I think it was scary for him. Um, and with this energy, what I get is just that he's feeling nostalgic. I don't know why that just keeps coming, keep coming up. I, I just keep hearing like he's nostalgic and he's comparing you with the karmic and he's thinking like, oh, if I was with this person, if I was with my, you know, my, my true love, how would that look? Would it be different? Would we fight like this? Would we communicate better? Would it be different this time around? Um, would she be able to take on all this damage that the karmic has just, you know, inflicted upon me? Would she accept me? Just see all these questions running through his head right now. I also, I also get that something has just happened to make him miss you. I don't know what it is. Um, him or her, you know, it depends on, on, you know, whatever you resonate, however, however, your, whatever your story is. But I feel something just happened to make him miss you. That's why I'm kind of wondering. I'm trying to see what that energy is because that's what I feel. And I'm kind of wondering if some of you might have texted him or you might have posted something on social media for him to see, like a message or a memory or asked friends about him or just something because I sense that something happened that just made him start thinking about you a little bit more. Um, it could also just be with the karmic. It could be just how toxic she's being. He's kind of thinking like, he's just comparing it. He's thinking about how it was with you, I feel. And it, see, we still have it. There's this strong de desire to come forward to you with the eight of wands, the ace of cups, the Knight of Swords here, and it's like with the Four of Wands, it's like he's dreaming, he's thinking about happier times, he's nostalgic, but it's, again, it's very back and forth energy. We, we have these these more, I don't know if you call them negative cards, but this is, you know, Ten of Swords, Three of Swords, that's a lot of pain right there that this masculine is in. By the Pentacle is like poverty, loss, just a lot of confusion. So, so yeah, again, very chaotic energy. I'm getting something about dreams. So you might be showing up in your masculine's dreams. He might be showing up in your dreams. Um, I think, I think you know, full moons typically bring in a lot of telepathic energy. So I kind of feel that for you guys right now. Because um, you see just these cards, it's very, you see, the, you see the two figures here. You see how they're, like, look at her. She's just, and that's your masculine right now, I feel. It's like he's very like vulnerable. He's just very, very vulnerable. He's very loving. He's very, he's just in this empath, like, how do I even explain that energy? Um, oh my God. My cat is trying to open the cupboards. He's standing on his hind leg trying to open the cupboards. I'm sorry. Stop. Stop it. You're not going in there. You're not going in there. Stop. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> he's a shithead. He likes to do whatever he wants. <laughs> It's like having a child. Anyway, I'm sorry about that, you guys. All right. Ace of Cups. So, you know, this is like, look at look at this this ma this person. This is your mask. Again, this is the energy that your masculine is in right now. You see how vulnerable this person is? This is like kind of introversion and, um, 
you know, like being really in your feelings. This is like just emotionally open, spiritually open, like rebirth, renewal, um, loving energy, kind of like reconnecting to their inner child, I think too, like they're connecting to their more romantic, softer side. And they're just, they're very vulnerable. I almost see them like, like drinking and listening to sad songs or like, I don't know why this is probably just for one of you. This is probably a specific message for one, one person on here, but I, I saw one masculine open this like treasure chest kind of looking thing that he has under his bed and there's something in it that reminds him of you. I don't know if that's like an actual, if I just saw some, you know, like actual physical chest that one of your masculines has where they have something in it that you gave them that they're kind of nostalgic about, or if it's just a metaphor, um, for, you know, like revisiting those old memories, you know, like looking back on the past, they're, they're, they're really, they're very, um, really contemplative right now. They're, they're really thinking about the past a lot. They're really very nostalgic. They're thinking about either how it was with you or for those of you that were not, you know, committed, they're thinking about how it could have been with you. And I just saw 1111 on the screen too. Um, 1111 in, into the video. Um, but yeah, it's like your masculine. I think like, it's kind of like, how, what's that quote? You have to tear yourself open and so that the light can get in or something like that. It's kind of that kind of energy where it's like whatever happened with the karmic, it's setting your masculine on this healing pro in this healing path, I feel. Um, it's kind of like a tower moment. It's like this, this process for them that's making them look at everything a lot closer, a lot um, deeper than they were before. So I just see them kind of dreaming right now. It's like this bittersweet type of energy where it's like they're expressing their pain finally. They're crying finally. They're letting it out finally. They're not just running on autopilot. And this could be, you know, for those that were laid off due to the coronavirus that have to stay at home. Um, it could be partially due to that too, not just what the karmic did to him recently, but also just having to stay home. It's like he can't just work and ignore his feelings. He can't just go, go, go and be on autopilot all the time. He's being forced to face his feelings. And, um, and yeah, I just sense this, there might be a lot of drinking. I, I feel for, for some of them. Um, and he's, yeah, he's just in this bittersweet, nostalgic, isolated energy where it's like, he's just kind of by himself a lot. Um, or as much as he can be. And he's just, when he is with the karmic, he's kind of just dreaming about you and wanting to escape with you and wanting to just have things be easier, you know, cause he really needs healing right now. Like whatever just happened, just tore him open and he's vulnerable again. He's, he's refinding himself again. He's, um, he's just very, very vulnerable right now and very emotional right now. And it's kind of, it's not good because around, if he is around the karmic still, it's like she's tearing him down and trying to make him toughen up and make him do this and make him do that. And it's like not the kind of energy that he needs right now. He needs like a motherly, nurturing, empathetic type of energy. And he's definitely not getting that from the karmic. So it's like he's vulnerable, but then she probably puts him down and then it's just like his... It's like he tries to put his walls back up, but I feel like the walls just can't be back up because he's too exhausted. Like, I feel like he can't even put the walls back up with her right now because he's just, like, I just see him being tired. Like, I get this visual of him kind of putting the, the walls up, but he's so sick of the, of the back and forth with her. He's tired of the drama, of the fights, of the nagging, of the control, of being put down. Just whatever crap she's bringing into that relationship, he's just tired of it, and he doesn't even have the energy to to really block anything or anyone out. He's just wide open and vulnerable and just sad and, and confused right now. Um, and again, dreaming of you a lot, you know, like actual dreams and then also just like daydreams, like fantasizing about you. But again, we have a very unstable energy here. It's like he has this passion and motivation to do better and to come forward to you. And he's, you know, if he is with the karmic, he's, he's dreaming about you a lot and just kind of thinking about how it could be and just wanting to escape. And he's very, very vulnerable right now. But then it's like, I feel like his insecurities are actually coming up because of this. It's like he's wide open. He was just torn open. 
And I feel like his insecurities might actually be coming up with the five of pentacles here because this is like loss, poverty, and like failure and stuff. So I kind of feel like he's feeling like he's not good enough for you. Like he's kind of thinking maybe this probably a lot of damage done from the karmic too where he's just feeling like I feel financial insecurity. I feel like that might be an issue where financially he feels like he's not financially stable and good enough for you. Um, for a lot of you, not for all of you, but I think for a, for a large percentage of you, that's the case. Um, and, and yeah, he's just, he's having anxiety too, I think, with the Five of Pentacles is kind of what I'm getting. It's just, he's getting in his head a lot. So it's like, he'll kind of... I feel like he must be drinking or doing something because he's so open. It almost seems like the energy of someone who's like really drunk and kind of, you know, listening to their sad music and, and in that zone <laughs> is where I see him right now. Um, yeah, and it's just, I think, I think it's back and forth where it's like he feels this, this openness and then he's like, oh, but I'm not good enough for her. Or, oh, I did this or I said this. I shouldn't have said that. That was stupid of me to say that. Um, that was stupid of me to do that. That was like, I'm not financially stable enough for her. I don't know if I can meet her needs. I don't know if I could do this, this, this. So it's like kind of feeling sorry for himself and just back and forth in this energy. But then it's like he gets out of that energy and he's like in this Knight of Swords energy. Um, and it's really confusing. And I feel like you bring this energy out of him more like this like masculine, you know, energy, this desire to step out of his comfort zone, this desire to be brave, you know, to make this, this oath here, this promise to you that he's going to stick around finally. Um... I do feel a lot of regret from him. I really do think that he's thinking about things he said or did or, you know, didn't do. Like, if he ghosted you or just wasn't really around enough for you, he's he's thinking about that. He's thinking about things he could have done differently and kind of comparing paths. He's like, well, what if I had chosen you instead of the karmic? Like, what would things look like right now? What would my life look like? So he's really... I mean, as messy as all this energy is, it's really actually good. It's really pushing things forward. It's it's gotten him out of the stagnant state that he was in. It's um, it's this beautiful healing. It's it's this breakthrough that he's going through. So it's really good. Um, but yeah, you see how t you see how I how I just described the Five of Pentacles and this sword. It's like almost exact opposites, where it's like anxiety and fear of not being good enough and overthinking things and then like bravery and I'm coming forward I'm going to be with you I'm going to do better um I feel like that I feel like the if he is around the karmic I feel like the karmic keeps getting him out of this energy though where like whatever she's saying or doing is making him feel like no one's gonna love him but her she's a very toxic karmic is what I feel so your masculine has hit rock bottom, but he's about to be reborn, <laughs> is what I feel. Um, let's see, with the Four of Wands, it's like, again, thinking about better times with you. It's like he's in this energy when he's alone and he's thinking about you. But when the karmic is around, she takes him out of this brave, strong energy that he's trying to be in. He's trying to be, he's not, he's not really a brave person around her, but he's trying to be brave. He's trying to get into that Knight of Swords energy. Um, and he's, you know, four of wands. He's dreaming about you. He's thinking about how peaceful and how different it would be with you. He's thinking about things that he would do differently or things that he should have done differently. He's really in his head right now um, and just dreaming about the old times. And, you know, ten of swords, it's like, it's like death and not like, not, not physical death, but um, like, emo like spiritual death <laughs> um, and rebirth. You know what I mean? It's like the, the dawn after the darkness. It's, it's pain and betrayal and heartbreak and, and hitting rock bottom. But then, um, you know, finding yourself and kind of being reborn after that and going through this messy healing process and finally getting back in touch with all your emotions and finally feeling again, you know what I mean? And your masculine is finally feeling again. He's in this energy. Um, and Ten of Swords, it's like, that's the... I'm going to start, aside from the major arcana um, for the swords, it's like, that's like the last one. It's the Ten of Swords and the, and the minor arcana for swords. Um, so it's like the final step, you know what I mean? It's like, it's over. The, 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 the you know, the betrayal happened, the pain, it's, it's all happening now, but it's like, it's over. It's like the... 
is just kind of in this this intense um, healing process, waiting for the dawn. Again, Three of Swords, you know, he is still heartbroken. Um, and yeah, so you saw what that reading is, like very, <laughs> it's like all kinds of mixed emotions, but it really makes sense because again, he is just finally starting to feel again. Um, and he hasn't for a long time. Or not, not like this. Like he's really, he's really getting back in touch with his romantic side. Okay, so let's see what else we can get. And I do not intend to read these cards backwards. I just, again, I need to reorganize my cards. So let me put that out there now, spirit, that I'm only going to be taking these cards upright. Okay, so any final messages, final advice for those that are watching this reading? What's your final advice? Spirit guides, what is your final advice? I think Freya is around one of you guys. The goddess Freya, if you connect with her, I feel like, yeah, I do feel that energy. I feel like grandmother spirit around one of you too, actually. Hmm, that's interesting. So I just got like a very sweet older woman. As I go tell her, I said hi. <laughs> I know that probably sounds strange. <laughs> I hear myself say it, and I'm like, yeah, that sounds weird. <laughs> All right, so let's see. So what are the final messages? Yeah, this process, it's, it's a beautiful process. It really is. And you guys might be kind of mirroring each other, too. You guys might be going through a similar process as well. And if any of you ever want readings, you know, my... um. My prices and my email address are all listed below. They should finally open a shop page. I just haven't really done it yet. I've been kind of focusing on other art projects and whatnot, but sooner or later I should have an Etsy shop up too. Yeah, see again, more mixed energy. But the chaos is ending. We have chaos and conclusion here. All right, so there's the warrior energy where it's like he's trying to, he really is trying to be the warrior for you. He's trying to, he's a lot, of, there's a lot of regret. Um, and he is trying to get back into that warrior energy. He's got, you know, some choices to make. Like, what does he do? And, and it's, you see how this card is looking towards the warrior, actually. So he's choosing that energy. He's choosing not to be, not to be complacent and not to play small any longer and not to um, just go along with whatever the karmic wants. You know, he's making that choice um, to try to be the warrior as much as he can be, even though he is really damaged and really sad right now. And, you know, he just kind of feels invisible. He kind of feels alone right now. He feels very confused. Um, I almost want to say that, like, the invisible card is going with the chaos card here. It's kind of like he's been feeling invisible and he's been feeling like his needs are not being met with the karmic. And, like, he's alone with her and she just does not get him. Um, and it's like he's been isolating from her. It's, not, it's This has been coming for a while, you know, and he's been isolating more and more from her and wanting to, you know, kind of move out of that energy um because again it was just very familiar with her it wasn't really they weren't really like happy it was just familiar but i think that this feeling of being invisible it's just like he's like he's snapping finally and there's just chaos which is where they're at right now is just constant fights and bickering and back and forth energy and confusion and her putting him down and him isolating and dreaming and thinking about you and thinking about what his life would be like if he wasn't with her anymore um, you know, regretting the choices he's made, regretting the things he did or didn't do or say. Um, it's just a chaotic energy, but it's like that chaos had to come because it's like he just snapped. He couldn't feel invisible any longer. Um, he had to stand up for himself. And so it's like there's there's that chaos that just came, that tower moment that came and shook everything up. And, you know, ending things between them. Like it is over between them. It might not, it's, it's act, like telepathically, like on a psychic level, like on a spiritual level, it's over. It's, it's more just a matter of like physically, like, are they, is he going to be around her or live with her and they're just going to keep fighting and it's just going to keep being chaos for a little while or is he actually going to get out? But like, it is over. 
You know what I mean? Like, even if they choose to stay together for a little bit longer, that relationship is still, it's, it's dead. It's not going back to how it used to be. And he knows that. Um, and I do see you winning because we have deceit and playful here. So it's kind of like he's got this choice between these two women. And, you know, her, she's deceitful. She's seductive. She's kind of bitchy. She's, um, in, I don't know. I don't know why I want to say insecure but conceited. I guess that could be a thing. I guess that kind of makes sense. Like, she's, it's like a, a fake confidence, basically. False sense of confidence. Um... And it's like, yeah, he's got these, these choice between these two women, but he's choosing the playful one. And you can see she's pissed at the one that's like playful and sweet and cute and loving and empathetic and kind. Like she knows, like there's less there. She's, she's, there's like a strong, there was a strong sexual attraction between them. Um, but look at, look at, look at how mad she's looking at this one. And like, this is the one that's winning. The playful, sweet, loving one, which is you. That's that's the one that's winning this battle. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, that's the update we have. I think it's, it, yeah, I think we're good. Um, I'll check back in soon. I'll be doing your Zodiac readings probably next week. I mean, maybe later this week if I feel drawn to it, but I'm thinking next week might be better. Um I just don't sense any, I sense shifts are starting to come. Like last week, I didn't really feel any new, any new change, but this week with the, the pink moon, I actually do feel like things are a bit different. Um, and I think things are starting to move in a certain direction. So I'll definitely update you as that progresses. Thank you guys. Please like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Have a good day, everybody.